What's up guys, Napkin here, and I want to welcome you to the very first episode of Graphic Pixels, the week of games. On this week's episode, we got two new game releases, a beta and Danny DeVito as Pikachu. Stick around to find out more. Alright, let's get started. Uh, this Tuesday, January 28th, Rise of the Tomb Raider was finally released on something other than an Xbox system. That's right, it came out on PC, and all across the world, the Xbox exclusive fanboys could be here crying very loudly, and they could be seen at 900p. Is that too soon? Is it still too soon? It's a great game, it just now looks even better. Uh, the PS4 version is still scheduled for release late this year. Over this weekend, also, the Division Beta uh, launched, and I know a lot of you people have been playing it, a lot of you guys, I'm sure, and you probably got all kinds of cool stories while us bums that didn't pre-order or didn't code beg have no way but, um, I didn't pre-order. I, 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 I didn't pre-order. You know, I'm that guy at GameStop when they're like, uh, would you like pre-order this game, that game, that game? I'm like, no, 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 get my damn game. That's me. Impatient. An online petition has been making its round across the internet this week for... Danny DeVito to voice the voice of Pikachu. That's right, Pikachu. Pika Pika. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, petition can be found on change.org and it's right now it's sitting at over 20,000 signatures. Man, you guys really want Danny DeVito to be the voice of Pikachu. I mean, I'm kind of just numb on the fact that Danny DeVito always be peeing one of me. This week was also one of the granddaddies of the first person shooter's birthday, the 20th birthday of Duke Nukem 3D. You know, I asked Duke how he was going to celebrate and he told me he was going to kick ass and chew bubble gum and try and wash away the stench and filth that was Duke Nukem forever. I don't think this is ever going to happen, bud. You did it. You did it. You. Fuck. Also this week, the cancelled PSP game Saints Row Undercover got stealth released after following a developer's stream. The developers themselves released the ISO files online and you can find them at unseen64.com. You know, I think it's super cool and amazing that they released the game even though it really wasn't finished, but it's still probably more finished than a lot of games get released nowadays. Right? Alright? Assassin's Creed Unity? Anybody? No? Can we just patch that in? We'll just patch in the notes. And finally, Jonathan Blow's The Witness was finally released this week. Jonathan has been working on this game since 2008 when he finished Braid. You know, um, I really don't have any jokes for this one. I mean, I think it's an amazing game. It looks amazing. If you're into 3D puzzlers, you should really, really give it a shot and give it a try and make sure you buy it because Jonathan Blow don't want you pirating that shit. I mean, don't pirate it. Seriously, guys, don't pirate it. It's a cool game. Buy it. Buy it. Come on, guys. Give this guy your money. He needs it. This this guy pissed in fucking bottles while making this game for you. It's true. Check the Twitter. And that's it for the news this week. Fuck. I just want to personally thank you guys for tuning in to the very first episode of Week of Games. Um, I will be doing this every Sunday. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. All the links and stuff will be below. So check it out. Tune in. Um, comment below. Like. I don't care if you subscribe, do whatever. Free world. Thanks for watching.